Hello everyone and welcome to another spec war video brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com. A spec war is my product comparison video. The four products that I will be comparing today are smart security cameras and they are the Blink XT versus the Arlo Pro versus the Butterfly versus the Rio Link Argos. This video has nine different sections and they are Section 1 Basic Specifications Section 2 Security Features Section 3 Video and Audio Section 4 Power and Storage Section 5 Connections Section 6 Design and Warranty Section 7 Home Automation Section 8 Remote Access and Section 9 Reviews and Ratings these sections are also listed below this video and to move quickly between them click or tap on the different times. So let's get stuck in section 1 basic specifications. What's interesting here is that all four of these cameras are made by different companies and only one of these companies can be considered to be a bit of a household name. Arlo is a smart home division of Netgear which is a fairly famous company that has been making network gear for the internet for many years. All of the other cameras are made by relatively new tech startup companies that have only started in recent years. Blink, Butterfly and Reolink. The newest camera is the Blink XT which was launched only a few months ago in May 2017 whereas the oldest camera was launched about a year and a half ago in April 2016 and that's the Rio Link. In terms of weight the heaviest camera is the Butterfly and that must be because of its lithium ion rechargeable battery which is inside and that weighs in at 12.5 ounces. The Rio Link with its batteries installed weighs in at 9.6 ounces and the Arlo which also has a rechargeable battery inside weighs in at five just under five ounces. These cameras are very similar in terms of size. The Blink and the Butterfly are flat and rectangular in shape. The Rio Link is more of a cylinder shape and the Arlo has a bit of a bullet shape to it. Finally prices. Now these are always subject to change of course so please do check the latest prices on Amazon's website. I have included two prices for the Arlo Pro. One price of $227 includes a smart hub which it needs in order to work. The other price is $179 and this is just for the camera without the smart hub or as a smart hub is also called a base station. The Butterfly is the next most expensive camera at $195 and the Blink XT at this time is $119 and the cheapest is the Rio Link which is $99. Section 2 is security features. First of all night vision. All four of these cameras have night vision and they all use the same infrared technology. There are two main types of infrared technology, passive and active. These cameras all use passive infrared, which means that the camera just reads or receives any infrared given off by passing humans or animals. Most smart cam security cameras available today use this type of infrared as well. The Blink also takes advantage of using an LED illuminator, which is essentially a light which comes on when any motion is detected and it just provides better vision. The blink will see will clearly see objects that are 20 feet away in darkness. The Rio Link has a range of 33 feet in darkness and the Arlo Pro has a range of 25 feet in darkness. I couldn't find any information on the infrared range of the butterfly. All four of these cameras also have motion detection which of course is a must on any security camera. All of the cameras have adjustable sensitivity. This allows the motion detection to be set up for a variety of different environments. If the camera is to be placed in a fairly quiet area 
then you would probably want to have the sensitivity set very high so that it detects any movement. However, if your camera is being placed in a fairly busy and noisy environment, it will be better to have the sensitivity at a lower setting. This will stop the camera from detecting every single movement from the surrounding environment and instead make sure it only detects motion which is immediately in front of it. I could not find any information for any of these cameras about how many seconds of video the camera will, be call, will record after motion has been detected and that's a little bit disappointing. All of the cameras in this comparison will send you a push notification to your smartphone or tablet once motion, once motion has been detected and the Rio link and the Arlo will also send you an email alert. The butterfly and the Arlo provide you with sound detection alert. This means that if a sound is detected but there's no motion, you will still be notified by the camera. The only camera in this comparison that measures the temperature is the Blink XT. The ability of a smart camera to detect temperature is very rare. I think this was a feature that was more common in smart cameras a few years ago than it is now. The only camera in this comparison that uses facial recognition technology is the butterfly. Very few smart cameras that are available use facial rec recognition technology as at this level is still in its infancy. A well-known camera in the same market that has this capacity is the Nest IQ. The Rio Link and the Arlo are the two cameras which have sirens built in. The Arlo Pro siren is 105 decibels. All of these cameras have pan and tilt capabilities, but they are only manual and digital. Three of these cameras can be swiveled and tilted manually on their mounts or on their stands. The butterfly does not come with a mount and so it can't be manually swiveled around. However, all of these cameras have a pan and tilt capability within their apps so that any video footage that you're viewing within the app itself you can move around using your smartphone or your smart tablet's touchscreen. The Rio Link's footage cannot be zoomed in on via the app but the Butterfly and the Arlo offer a digital zoom of up to eight times. I could not find any details about the zoom links of the Blink either. Section 3 is all about video and audio capabilities. All of these cameras use CMOS lenses. The Butterfly uses a lens that is 3.5 megapixel. The Rio Link uses a 2 megapixel lens and the Arlo uses a 1 megapixel lens. I could not find any information on the lens that the Blink uses. Field of view is a measurement of how much of the surrounding area a lens can see. Most often this is measured across the horizontal plane, or in other words, what it can see from right to left. The Arlo has a 130 degrees field of view, which is what other top smart security cameras offer. The Butterfly offers 120 degrees field of view, and the Blink and the Rio Link have 110 degrees field of view. Surprisingly, the two cameras in this comparison that record video in 1080p are the Butterfly and the Rio Link. The Arlo and the Blink only record video at 720p, although the Blink is 1080p compatible and it is just waiting for an upgrade. 1080p has been the gold standard for the best security cameras, although at some point in the near future, the next milestone will, will become more common. This is the ability of a camera to record images in 4K, which is ultra high definition. Three of these cameras offer two way audio, and they are the Butterfly, the Rio Link, and the Arlo. In order for a camera to have two way audio, it needs to have a built in microphone and speaker. It allows a user to talk and listen to anyone who is near the camera via the app. Two-way audio is standard across most smart security cameras and it is a real surprise that it is not yet available on the Blink. The Blink only has a microphone built in and so the user can only listen to what is happening via the app. 
Another high profile camera that only has one way audio is the Canary Flex. All of these cameras offer a live stream capability. This is the ability to connect with the camera and see and hear what the camera is seeing and hearing right here and right now. This is a very popular feature with buyers. You cannot watch a live stream on the Blink at night, which is unusual because for most smart cameras, the live stream facility is available for 24 hours a day. Section four is power and storage. All four of these cameras are powered by batteries. The Blink and the Rio Link use standard batteries. The Blink uses two AA batteries which provide approximately 11 hours of recording or live view time. The Rio Link uses four CR123A batteries which provide approximately 180 days of standby or 13 hours of recording and live view time. The Butterfly and the Arlo have built in lithium ion rechargeable batteries. The Butterfly's battery gives you two weeks of normal use, but I was unable to find out how much recording time this equaled to. The Arlo's battery provides about 15 hours of recording or live view time, which as we can see is the best in the bunch. Built-in lithium ion batteries are more convenient because you do not have to take them out in order to recharge them and neither do you need to replace them. However, an advantage that a standard battery has over lithium ion batteries is that a standard battery, that is that if a standard battery fails, then it is fairly inexpensive to replace it. However, if a built-in rechargeable battery fails, then these are much more costly to replace. The Blink and the Arlo both have base stations that they connect to, which are powered by an AC charger. The Butterfly's battery can be recharged using a micro USB AC adapter, or if it is more convenient, the camera can be powered by this adapter as well. Likewise, although the Arlo Pro is powered by a battery, its battery charger can be connected continuously to the camera, if that's what you want. None of these cameras can be powered by the sun. The reason for this solar option in this chart is because rings outside camera can be powered via a solar panel. This technology might be one of the next big things in powering outside smart products. Three of these cameras offer cloud storage. The Rio Link is the only camera that doesn't offer any cloud storage. The Blink's cloud storage options are incredibly limited. At the moment it offers every user two hours of storage for free. There are paid for options in the pipeline. The Butterfly and the Arlo offer a much fuller range of cloud storage options. The Butterfly offers four plans. Three plans have a monthly cost. The first plan is free and this is that all recording tool will be stored for 12 hours. The second plan costs $9.99 a month and all recordings will be stored for seven days. The third plan is $19.99 a month. All recordings will be stored for 30 days. And the fourth plan is for $29.99 a month and all recordings will be stored for one year. For any of these plans, you can have an unlimited number of butterfly cameras connected. The Arlo has three plans two of which have a monthly cost. The first plan is free, and this is that all recordings will be stored for seven days, and this applies for up to five cameras. The second plan is cost $9.99 a month, and all recordings will be stored for 30 days, and this is using up to 10 cameras. And the third plan cost $14.99 a month, and this is that all recordings will be stored for 60 days, for up to 15 cameras. The Rio Link is the only camera that provides storage via a micro SD card. Cards up to 64 gigabytes are compatible with it. The Butterfly has up to 16 gigabytes of internal memory itself. Neither the Blink or the Arlo are compatible with micro SD cards or have any internal memory. 
The Arlo is the only camera that is compatible with external USB storage. However, this storage is only a backup of any cloud storage option that you are using. And so in that respect, it is not truly independent or a standalone option. Let's move on to the next section, which is all about connections. All four of these cameras will use your Wi-Fi connection in some way or other. The Butterfly and Rio Link cameras connect directly to your Wi-Fi network. I won't bore you with the exact specifications, but it's safe to say that they will connect to the types of Wi-Fi found in most of our homes. The Blink camera connects to its own Smart Hub or Sync module, as Blink refer to it. The Sync module connects to Wi-Fi and then the camera connects in turn to the Sync module. The Arlo Pro does not connect using Wi-Fi. The only camera that uses an Ethernet cable as connection is the Arlo and this is how the Arlo base station connects to the home router via the Ethernet cable. None of these cameras can as yet connect to a 4G network although there are a few manufacturers who are looking at its potential including Blink. One of the advantages of using 4G is that you can actually, instead of trying to connect to your Wi-Fi router, which is obviously going to be inside your house, if you've got a 4G signal through a SIM card, you can actually place that outside and get it to be a lot closer to the camera itself. Encryption is the level of security that a camera uses when it stores video footage in the cloud. Butterfly and Arlo use 128-bit encryption. This is also known as bank level encryption because it's the same level of security that banks use when they move sensitive data around. I could not find any details on the encryption level that Blink cameras use and obviously the Rio Link doesn't use any cloud storage at all. Section 6 is Design and Warranty. The Blink and the Butterfly are available in white or black. The Rio Link and the Arlo Pro are only available in white. However, for both of these cameras you can buy skins or separate covers for them. These are made of silicon and in the case of the Arlo they are available in different colours including camouflage. The Rio Link has a yellow giraffe theme skin that can be clever you, cleverly used in your nursery if you're using the camera as a baby monitor. The Butterfly is the only camera in this comparison that hasn't got an IP rating, although it has applied for one. IP stands for Ingress Protection, and these are standard ratings that show, in simple terms, how weatherproof a device or object is. Since all of these cameras are meant to be used outside, I would have expected them to have an IP rating. The Blink, Rio Link and Arlo have an IP rating of 65. The first number 6 means that a device is totally dustproof. The second number 5 means that a device has very good protection against water such as light rain or light snow. For it to be protected against heavy rain or a snowstorm, this number would need to be a 6. As well as an IP rating, all of these cameras have an operating temperature range. The ranges are all pretty similar, but the Blink has the best one as it operates between temperatures of minus 20 to 45 degrees centigrade. All of these cameras with a bit of confidence can be installed by, by yourself. As long as you feel confident using a drill and a screwdriver, these cameras come with step-by-step -step setup and installation guides, some of which are included in the app. There will also be plenty of helpful installation videos, either via the app or on YouTube. However, if you don't feel confident installing one of these cameras, or you just don't have the time, then you can employ a reliable and local builder or electrician to do the job for you. Finally in this section, let's have a look at the warranties and money-back guarantees. The Butterfly camera offers the best cover. It provides a 60-day money-back guarantee and a 3-year limited warranty. The Rio Link offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and a 2-year limited warranty. 
and the Blink offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and a one-year limited warranty. The Arlo only offers a one-year limited warranty and 90 days of free technical support. Remote access is the ability to control a device without physically touching it. It is one of the most desirable features of any smart device. It gives an owner the ability to control the device from the other side of the room or the other side of the world. Most smart devices have iOS and Android apps that enable remote access and the top devices also enable remote access via web browsers. The Butterfly and the Arlo both require iOS 9 or later. The Blink XT requires version 9.3 or later whereas the Rio Link just requires version 8 or later. In terms of Android, the surprising feature here is that the Butterfly does not yet have an app for any Android device, although it's meant to be ready soon. The Rio Link just needs an Android device to be running version 3 or later of the software, and the Arlo requires a device to be running version 4.1 or later, and the Blink needs version 4.4 or later. None of these devices has a specific app for the Windows 10 mobile platform because there are so few devices using it. The Blink and the Butterfly do not allow access via any web browser, but the Arlo and Rio Link do. I think that the ability to use a web browser as well as an app to control a device is a very useful feature for a huge number of people who work on laptops and desktops throughout their workday, because sometimes a keyboard is faster than interacting with a touchscreen, and also sometimes having a larger screen to look at and interact with is easier. Home automation is a technical term used to describe the technology that powers smart homes. It's the ability of smart devices to connect to and interact with each other. There are a number of different languages or systems that devices can use to do this. Top selling smart cameras interact with a few different systems, but the only camera in this comparison to do this is the Arlo. This is a big weakness that the other cameras have. IFTTT, or If This Then That, is an app that allows devices to respond and interact to one another automatically via applets. An applet contains a set of instructions or rules that outline the circumstances under which two or more devices respond. Only the Arlo has official applets on IFTTT, and by official I mean that there are applets that have been created by the manufacturers themselves, as opposed to applets that have been created by individuals. A bigger surprise is that only two of these devices work directly with Amazon Alexa, a digital assistant that enables devices to respond to voice commands via interactive speakers such as the Echo. The cameras are the Blink and the Arlo. Alexa is rapidly evolving into a very important smart hub from which many devices can be controlled just by using your voice. None of these devices are compatible with Apple's smart home system called HomeKit and also none of these devices are compatible with Google Home which is Google's equivalent to the Amazon, to the Amazon Echo. I think that this shows how much Google Home needs to catch up with, Google e with Amazon Echo. Wink is one of the biggest smart home systems out there and only the Arlo is compatible with it. And it is the same for SmartThings, Samsung's system. Only the Arlo works with it. And to conclude this video, we move into the ratings and reviews section. What I've tried to do is show some of the most helpful statistics. To state the obvious, these numbers will change on an almost daily basis, but I think the overall trends that these numbers reveal will not change that much. The overall ratings tell us that the Arlo Pro and the Blink XT are the most highly rated at 4.3 out of 5 and 4.1 out of 5 respectively. The Rio Link has a rating of 3.8 and the Butterfly has a rating of 3.6. The Arlo has a massive number of written reviews, well over 10,000. This is way beyond what any other smart camera in this review has or most other smart cameras on the market have. 
In this comparison, the, ca the camera with the next greatest number of reviews is 160, and that's the Rio Link. The Arlo is also way out in front in terms of having over a thousand answered questions. The Rio Link has 197 answered questions, the Blink has 147, and the Butterfly has 49. The very best smart products in any the very best products in any category have a high percentage of five star reviews, and by that I mean percentages that are up in the 70s and the 80s. The Arlo has the highest percentage of 5 star reviews at 66%, with the Butterfly scoring 57 and the Blink 54. The very best smart products have a low percentage of reviews with a rating of 1 star, and by that I mean percentages that are lower than 10. The Arlo has 3% of its reviews which rate it at 1 star. The Rio Link has 6%, the Blink 13 and the Butterfly 19. FakeSpot analyzes a product's reviews on websites like Amazon and then gives these reviews a reliability grading. The reason for this is that many companies pay people to write reviews about the products. The higher the grade, the more trustworthy the reviews are deemed to be. And it uses the same grade system used on old school reports. The camera with the most trustworthy set of reviews is the Blink XT, which receives a B grade. The Rio Link comes second with a reliability grading of D, and unfortunately the Butterflies and the Arlo's reviews are both given an F grade because their reviews are deemed to be very suspicious. And that's it for my spec war. Thanks for watching. I hope that the comparison will help you to decide between the Blink XT, the Butterfly, the Rio Link and the Arlo Pro, which is the best smart security camera for you. If you have any questions, please ask me. If I've made a mistake, please tell me. Or if you have any ideas for my next review, let me know.